Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Homemakers. Today we're going to be doing a small paint pouring project. I'm going to go over everything you should have in your bag. You should have one of these metal trays, a popsicle stick, a small canvas, an empty plastic cup, three paint colors. This is your pouring medium. And then you'll have three empty paper cups. The first thing I'm going to go over is mixing. So we want our paint to be really runny. And the way that we do that is by mixing it with this medium. So what I did was I split this up. Um, if you split this up into thirds, so divide it equally between all of the cups, each cup will need about half a tube of paint to be runny. Now if you wanted to use more of one color, you're going to need to adjust how much pouring medium and um, paint you use. Um, but for now, I kind of split it evenly between the three colors. I have a dark purple, a metallic purple, and white. So once you've got all the colors you want, you're going to go ahead and pour. Now, there are different ways to pour. I'm just going to show a basic, uh, they call it dirty pour, but I will send you videos for different types if you want. Um, when we do this here, we have different things. Um, sometimes we'll use a strainer. Um, that'll give it a cool effect where it all just kind of spreads out. Um, you can also just pour one cup at a time and, and mix everything up with your stick. Um, so it's up to you. You can use this for mixing your, your paint and pouring medium or also during the, the project. So what I'm going to do is put all of the paint colors together. So if you've got an extra cup at home, you can do it this way. Um, I'm going to pour a little bit of this one. Some of the white. dark purple and I'm just going to keep going until I run out of what I have here So you can see all my colors are mixing together pretty well. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is Make sure you've got your little cup turned upside down in the middle of your tray. Um, that's just going to keep it lifted because if you do this and the paint runs all over it, it's going to end up sticking to this tray. So we want to lift this canvas up a little bit so that the paint pours um, down into there. So all I'm going to do is put my canvas on top of my cup like the canvas is a lid and then flip it over. So now I can move it around and you can do this, um, just move it from side to side or you can use your stick to kind of move it around too. And I just want to make sure that all parts are covered.
and you can see it's running all over if you want to move it along you can use your stick I'm probably just going to use it to get the edges at the end here and my colors are pretty close together uh, I've just got two purple shades and a white so it's not going to be as vibrant but if you've got a mix of blues and purples or colors that are a little more different then your canvas will be a little bit more dramatic looking So most of my canvas is covered, so I'm just going to use the stick to get the edges here towards the end. move it around a little bit with my stick just kind of see what I get and if you've got extra paint in your cups you can also just pour that directly on while you're moving this around if I have a little bit more of the dark paint in here. All right. And then when you're happy with what it looks like, you'll just let it dry here any extra paint that you've got that's sort of along the edges should drip right off um, and that's pretty much it um, if you end up having a bunch of paint left in the tray I've seen people cut it up and use it for um, jewelry and other different art projects so you can definitely peel that up and use it in a different way if you'd like um, stick it on some paper make a make a bookmark or a card or something um, so next month we're going to be doing Sun Catchers so check our May calendar to see the sign-up date for that, and I will see you next month. Thank you.